you might notice something a little bit different about my avatar. Mainly, the fact that it's a still image that just kind of violently shakes. Well, it can actually do a lot more than that. This veto face tool really elevates a PNG tuber to another level. If you just have a PNG or a couple of PNGs, this is just gonna give so much more life and personality to your little character. This one is probably my favorite one out of all of them by far. This one, this one I should not have made bounce. But yeah, so let me show you how to use VetoTube. It is actually a lot of fun. As you can see here, there are a lot of different options. The way it's meant to be set up normally is you're supposed to have four images. One with a closed mouth, one with an open mouth, one with a closed mouth blinking, one with an open mouth blinking. But uh, you don't really need to use it that way. The thing will work just fine, even if you only have one image and you just want to make that image da dance. But it does work best if you have an open and closed mouth image. Now, once you select the uh, one to four images that you want, you can basically stop here. However, even though it is extremely quick and easy to just set up VetoTube by selecting a couple of different images, there's a lot more that you can do than just have two images and make one of them shake when you talk. For example, there are different types of motion that you can have. If you just have one PNG and that's all you want to use, easy, you're done. You picked an image, you picked an animation, you're done. It took 30 seconds maximum to set this up. But let's make it a little bit more complicated. So click on open mouth image and then upload another image with your character with an open mouth. It's uh, still in closed mouth when you are not talking and when you open your mouth, the character opens its mouth and you also bounce around with whatever animation you prefer. But you can also upload a GIF. It takes like half a second to Photoshop in a couple of different mouth shapes. And really, I think it actually adds to the effect quite a bit. It actually looks really, really clean. It's really easy to Photoshop a mouth open with, you know, just ripping a uh, transparent PNG of an open mouth. Eyes are a little bit more complicated. Now, there are a options for the blinking. Personally, I don't use those because, yes, it does track when you blink and when you don't blink. But most people don't have art of their eyes closed because why would you if you wanted to you could hire someone to make four different images for each of these and what's really cool is if you want to switch between different states it's really easy click the plus click on state number two let's say you want to change characters at the at the touch of a button right obviously you're going to be want to be able to toggle between them relatively quickly and easily right 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 so you got to assign them a hotkey so click on the image click on the hotkey icon and press any button. And then there are two options. You can either have it a toggle. So you select this image, assign a hotkey, select this image, assign a different hotkey, and you leave them both at enter on press. That just allows you to toggle freely. Every time you push a button, you can change your avatar, right? No sweat, right? Easy, easy, easy. But what I think a lot of people would want to do is have these other states be different emotions. So for that, you would want to have it on hotkey press. So you would have one as like your default, and then you would hold this down and press it to switch to a different emotion. And then as soon as you release it, it goes back to normal. And I really like the, uh, the fact that you can hotkey easily between different emotions. I mean, look at this, that's hilarious. It's so much cheaper and easier to get really good images from an artist, especially if you're fine with like the uh, chibi or emote style, you can still get pretty solid quality for relatively cheap. And as you get fan art from your fans, well, guess what? Every time you get new fan art, you can just add it as another expression and add it to list of emotes here. It's, it's so much fun to mess around with. Now, another cool feature of this is that the default settings here are, are pretty good, but if you have a lot of background noise, then you can just move the volume sensitivity up and then it's not going to activate at every single sound, which is pretty handy. I'm probably going to uh, stick with my VTuber model here just because I have put so much effort and time into this model and it's so detailed and expressive. I'm probably not going to like forever make this switch. If you have very little money and all you can afford is a PNG, put your PNG to work 
and make it do something interesting. Just because you're a PNG uh, tuber doesn't mean you're uh, limited in what you can do, and you can do more than just a reactive uh, PNG, my guys. So yeah, absolutely go check out VetoTube. There is so much fun that you can have with this. It's, it's, it's insanity. Honestly, you guys, I wish I could rant forever about how cool VetoTube is, but I can't because there's nothing else to say because it's so easy to set up. You click on a thing and it just happens and there's nothing else to it. Oh, I love this program and I wish I, I actually had a use for it. You know what I mean? But that's all I got for you. I will include a link in the description. If you're a PNG tuber and you feel uh, like you're not being included because you can't really do expressions and emotions and uh, animations, well, now you can. It's super easy, super fun. Please, PNG tubers of the world, go get it. That's all I got to say. Bye, guys. I admit that I'm a sim, it's not a hint, and everybody knows I'm not good with my money, and I'll never be stable financially. <laughs>